beloveds, welcome back to my channel. It is your priestess, Journey Divine, coming to you on this fine day. There's a song in my head. Because a good girl needs love, love. What's up? What's up? I don't know how the song goes. <laughs> I know my daughter listens to it. Um, it's a good girl needs love, love. What's up? Because a good girl needs love, love. That's What's up? Cause the girl, if you know it, put it in the comment section below. Because it's playing me to figure out what it is. How you doing today, beloveds? Hopefully you are blessed and prosperous. We are in the land of the living. Any day above the grave is surely a blessing. Yes? Like, share, subscribe. On your way in, on your way out. Send me a little love. Give me, leave me a comment. Hit that notification bell so you come back again to see me. You need a one-on-one. -on -one, send me an email. I'm your girl. It's destiny that you are here and not fate. There's a message for you in every reading I give. Take what resonates. What doesn't, let it fly. But something will apply. Yes? <laughs> I'm feeling good. I'm feeling blessed. We're going to dive right in and see what spirit has to say. Let me put a little cloth here. Because these cars be going all over the place. Spirit. And I'm tired of car chasing. Okay. That's better. <laughs> No matter what hour, what day, what season, what year you embark upon this reading, you're already right on time. Spirit deals in destiny and not fate. It's no accident that you clicked upon this video. Your ancestors, your guides, trying to speak to you. Message of clarity, of confirmation. Some get warnings that you need to know just in the nick of time. Whatever you do, be open to the flow. We have creation and being ordinary. Oh. Creation and being ordinary. Someone here has a gift. That they either have not unlocked or that they have and they are afraid to put it out to the world. Possibly something you haven't tapped into yet needs more meditation, more exploration, more education in your craft. There's something you are meant to be doing that you are not doing, beloved. Creation. Number two. Balance and alignment, it will restore your life, your financial outlook, status, to stability and alignment and balance. Balance out your home, your finances. This is something that has to do with your purpose. Something you are here for on this earth to fulfill. You have Amun Ra. Amun Ra, Amun Ra, <laughs> he is my sun god, yes, the Egyptian god of the sun, the beginning, the first, first there was light, and then the world was created, Amun Ra, the first, on deck, you could be a fire sign, since the sun card is here, it is confident, strength. This is your revelation. The sun shines the light in the darkness. What are you here to do, beloved? I see a beautician. I see a yoga instructor. I see a florist. I see a veterinarian or someone that works with animals. Specifically snakes or reptiles. 
They have a lot of water here. Someone is heavy in their emotions, possibly overthinking what their purpose could be. Don't know where to begin. You're multi-talented. That's why, beloved. Multifaceted. There's so many things that you're good at that you're at a loss of what to do. No matter which one you choose. If you choose it and you are guided to it, it will be your most prosperous endeavor. Someone here is fond of pelicans. Or flamingos. Someone's this often in meditation, thinking about what they could do, where they want to be, what their life looks like, writing, talking, speaking the spirit. We need the action. Spirit needs the action to take place. Someone here who is an Aquarius. Hmm, the star in the zodiac. The Aquarius, the star. You're supposed to be famous. You're supposed to be in the public eye. You're supposed to be wealthy, traveling the world, possibly a motivational speaker, an evangelist, a minister, a preacher, uh, something you do with your throat. Maybe you sing. Maybe you're a musician. Being ordinary is not your calling. You're meant to be more, to be greater, to be bigger, to be bigger. Someone here loves seashells. Someone here may be born January, March, April, in May. Maybe the fifth child or have five children. This could happen in five months. The major change in your life that takes you deep into your purpose. You have the hangman here. Someone's been evaluating and reflecting and doing a lot of thinking, but you are becoming enlightened. We have a lot of beauty, beautician and cosmetology here. Number three could be important to someone, three kids. You're the third child, one of three. Three could be your life path number. You have a lot of birds, spirit guides, angels. You are an earth angel. That could be Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, heavy in your chart. Doesn't have to be your sun, moon, rising. Transformation. Didn't I say you are becoming enlightened? You are transforming. And sometimes we go through transformation and we get periods of being stuck, stagnant, over, over stimulated by all the downloads, all the upgrades, shedding. It's a lot. Physically, emotionally, and mentally. You're coming to the end. You're right there. Maybe born in the Chinese year of the monkey. We have the justice symbol here. You could be a Libra. But this is alignment and balance. You're coming in to self-alignment. You will find your balance. You will find that ground. You will find your place. You will get on your path. And you will take off with speed and action. King of Wands, Knight of Wands, energy, speed and action. It's time to get in the game, get your feet wet, take a deep dive, take a leap of faith, bulls energy. A fresh new start is arriving. We have number 11. You could be born in November. You could be a Scorpio. Is Sagittarius November? Anubis. Look up the god Anubis. A-N-U-B-I-S. Transformation. 11. 
your mirror image. Someone needs to do some mirror work, speak to themselves, daily affirmations to build their self-esteem and confidence. Someone is coming in to meaning their soulmate. And this person may help you and work with you in your purpose. This person could have water in their chart. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Again, I see the sun card here. There are angels here. They are with you. They are guiding you. They are requesting that you connect with them in a deeper way. There are rituals for connection. If you need some, book with me. I got you. Red light, green light. Somebody, when they were young, love red light, green light. One, two, three. Someone here wears an amulet around their neck. I'm not sure if you have a tincture in it, a liquid in it. Someone may have ashes for an ancestor in their home. You need to speak to them, pray to them, give them offering. Someone may be indulging in psychedelics to try to get closer to spirit. Again, we have someone may be in a femme-to-femme, same-sex relationship. Or had a disconnection recently with your partner. And this may be why you're currently in hermit mode, solitude, feeling lonely, not moving. You need to get back up on your feet, beloved. That wasn't the one. It was both in a spark. An awakening, a transformation in you. Not to harm you, humble you to the point where you do nothing. <laughs> Someone needs to get an evil eye. And wear it. Any more messages from this deck, Spirit? You could be 19. I don't know if anyone is 19, but we have 10 for completion. You've completed a cycle. 2 for balance and alignment. And 11 for a brand new beginning. Walking into a brand new beginning. Being covered by the sun god of creation. After coming out of a period of closure. Order and peace. Order and peace. Hmm. That felt good to say. Three could be your life path number. Three is about self-discovery. Finding yourself. Brings order and peace. You are the altar. You are the ritual. You are the high priest. The high priestess. You are the answers that you seek. They are within you. You are a book of knowledge. That you have not completed. And there's so much more you need to read within. Someone here may have recently seen a feather or came upon a feather again Leo energy strength card courage patience do you see how that person excuse me I'm sorry let me give shoe do you see how shoe God got his shoe See how that person above is fully covering them with their body? That is angelic presence. You are covered, beloved. 
protect it. Mmm, beautiful. And it, oh, see all the stars in her body? I am speaking to a star seed, a chosen one. This is why you are so protected. You are here to complete a high purpose. Your destiny is great. You're being held up by the universe. Someone has recently walked away from a lot. Family, friends, a job, a commitment. Something that didn't support you or serve you in your highest good. You figured out who you were, what you wanted. You're mastering thyself. Patience, beloved. In due time, you are the journey. There is no destination. You are the journey. Enjoy every moment of it. Without needing to know the outcome or the control, the pace. That is what I'm saying. Let's see. Let's pull some cards from my soul's journey oracle deck. Let's find out if there are any blockages you need to work on. What's holding you back? What's pushing you forward? What is your soul's journey? I love how these cards are draped in blue. Peace, calmness, serenity. Pictures of the lotus flower. Somebody may be attracted to the lotus flower. Okay, spirit, come through. Messages of clarity. Soul journey. Soul journey, spirit. Soul journey. Someone here may love to wear the color white. I'm getting a lot of fire energy. A lot of Sagittarius. A lot of Leo. Me water. Oh, regret, baby. But it came out in reverse. I know that I cannot change the past. It came out in reverse. Do you? Let go of regrets. This is what you are releasing. You are learning to forgive, to let go and let God. And that takes time. Believe me, <laughs> that takes time. You are not to focus on it, just let it happen. As you continue to move into your purpose, into service, into self-mastery, eventually it will be gone. It will get rid of itself. Don't focus too much on letting go. Just be you and stay in the flow and it will release on its own. Adversity, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Those tower moments, that destruction, those endings, those poor choices, those experiences, those things that challenge you, that you overcome, that make you stronger, build you up for a tough, that which does not break me, makes me. That is what Spirit wants you to know. You are shedding, you are growing, you are building, but you are bursting from the cocoon stronger than you've ever been. And that too will grow. Confidence grows. With self-esteem, I want you to reap the rewards of your good favor. Loneliness, loneliness came out in reverse. 
We love that. I know that I am never alone, but it came out in reverse. Two things. Your lonely days are soon over. All you have to do is get out of this. Your lonely days can be over. You can meet your tribe, your soul family. You can meet your community of like-minded individuals. You can get out and see the world, meet that new partner. You can find joy, harmony again. New friends, new connections. Elevated people doing elevated things. If you get out of your indecision about trusting, being open to new experiences, deciding what you want to do, where that begins, taking accountability of you being in control of your own destiny, manifesting your desires. Yes, we collaborate with the universe. Yes, we need community. Community is important. Don't be that spiritualist who has become egoic and says that now that I am up, I only need God. God placed all 8 billion plus of us here on this planet together for a reason, beloved. Not only for calamity and chaos, but for love and connection. We need others. We need affection. We need love. We need connection. We need human beings. We need flesh, flesh. We need excitement, adventure. We need family and friends and community. You have to decide that life has to be more than your room, your job, your home. It has to be a vast experience for a world that gives us the opportunity to it. Sky's the limit. Decide. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. Let your intuition guide you to those good connections, those safe connections. Trust that your higher self, your already will not place you where you do not belong, where you'll be abused, where you'll be mistreated because you're no longer capable of that. That is not who you are. You are awakened and enlightened. You hear and see things as soon as they arrive. You'll know what's good for you and what is not, but you must enjoy the good and others. You must enjoy the good and others. And on the bottom of the deck, you've got balance again. I bring a safe, I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world. And I do so without judgment. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Spiritualist collectives who can judge us for God, no one. Who can stand against us for God? No one. Who can stop us, block us, delay us, move us, shake us, use us, abuse us? No one. We are chosen, highly favored, and divinely protected to exist in this world on top. To help pull others up along the way to be useful to the divine, to be a tool for love, positivity, enlightenment, the watering the earth with beauty and peace. With God on your side, whom shall you fear? No one and nothing. This is your message that was your reading 
I hope it resonated with you. I hope you got your takeaway. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Come back and see me. I want to see you. Get to know you. Get to know about you. Leave me a comment. Where do you come from? Where do you live? How's the weather? Have you found your purpose? Are you ending cycles? Are you walking into the new? Are you open for love? Speak to me. You need a reading book with me. Donate to me. Give a dollar. No donation is too small. My cash up and PayPal are attached. Let spirit lead you. As within, so without. As above, so below. You are safe. You are blessed. You are magical. It's time to flow and show the world how you glow, beloved. Let your little light shine. The world needs you. You are divine. Be made. Never forget who you are. Never let anyone steal your joy. God gave it. They can't take it away. Have a blessed day, beloved. Until we meet again. I say.